Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the classification of algae that means uh, different types of algae which are present we will discuss in this video according to their different uh, characteristics different types of algae are classified into different classes okay so near, here we will discuss about their classification so at first the first classification based on their color which they import by their photosynthetic pigments so depending on the or based on the photosynthetic pigments the algae are classified into four groups that are the blue green algae green algae brown algae and red algae so blue green algae that are the cyanophyce or cyanobacteria it is the prokaryotic algae so this blue green algae which have the dominant pigment that is the phycocyanin so they have the dominant pigment that is phycocyanin which give them the blue green color okay the next one is the green algae so they are the chlorophyce okay so their dominant pigment is chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b and next one is the brown algae or pheophyce they have the dominant pigment that is the phycoxanthin next one is the red algae or rhodophyce they have the dominant pigment that is the phycoerythrin which gives them the red color okay so these are the classification of algae based on their photosynthetic pigments okay so next classification is based on the prokaryotic and eukaryotic features so based on their prokaryotic and eukaryotic features algae are differentiated into two groups prokaryotic and prokaryota and eukaryota so the only one algal group which are present in prokaryotic uh, division that is the cyanophyce so cyanophyce or cyanobacteria are the only type of bacteria or oh, sorry only type of algae which uh, which are prokaryotes but all other all other algae rest of the algae present on the eukaryota okay and this eukaryotic algae is also differentiated into two groups one is non motile and another is motile so non motile algae one type of algae is non motile that is the rhodophyce so rhodophyce or rhodophyta are algae that are eukaryote they have the eukaryotic type of features and also they don't have the flagella so they are non motile non motile type of algae and the rest of the algae they are the motile algae and the first three that are the chlorophyta uh, chlorophyta and euglenophyta they have the predominant chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b uh, pigments okay and the rest this uh, type this algae have the predominant carotenoids as a pigment okay and also they have chlorophyll a but they don't have any chlorophyll b pigment okay so this is the classification based on the prokaryotic and eukaryotic features and next classification is based on the major characteristics so depending on these seven characteristics also algae are differentiated into nine classes or nine phyla so what are those uh, characteristics so nature and properties of pigments according to their pigments and their reserve foods what foods they store inside them and their morphology of flagella morphology of cells and the reproduc uh, reproductive structure food storage substance and cell wall composition so depending on these characteristics algae all algae are differentiated or classified into nine phyla so what are those phyla so they are the green algae or chlorophy uh, chlorophyta yellow green algae or xanthophyta diatoms or bacillariophyta brown algae or phycophyta sorry uh, phycophyta sorry phyophyta and red algae or rhodophyta and uh, golden green algae or chrysophyta euglenoid flagellates or euglenophyta and uh, crypto sorry uh, cryptomonads or uh, cryptophyta and dinoflagellates or pyrophyta okay so these are the nine phyla which are divided into those characteristics okay so now we will discuss about different phyla which are uh, 
मोस्टली प्रेजेंट इन आवर एनवायरमेंट ओके विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट विच आर मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट दिस टाइप ऑफ एलगीज और क्लास ऑफ एलगीज वी विल डिस्कस इन ब्रॉड ओके सो फर्स्ट इज रोडोफाइटा और रेड एलगी द नाम रेड द नेम रेड एलगी इज गिवेन टू दिस प्लान बिकॉज ऑफ द एक्सेस एंड डोमिनेंस ऑफ पिगमेंट्स फाइको एरिथ्रीन एंड फाइकोसाइनिन so these two pigments which give them red color that's why they known as the rhodophyce or red algae okay and red algae are characterized by absence of flagellated motile stage that means they don't have any flagella so they are non motile and the main food storage products are in the form of floridian starch that means their main uh, storage food is floridian starch that is the polysaccharide okay and another thing is agar and carrageenan uh, carrageenan uh, are two red algal polysaccharide these are the polysaccharides that are widely used as gelatin agent or thickening agent to produce any media microbiological media or algal media so to produce a uh, produce a artificial media for them for this the gelling and thickening agent as a thickening agent or gelling agent these two polysaccharides are used in the food and pharmaceutical industries are found only in red algae they are found only in red algae okay so these are the importance of rhodophyta or red algae so next thing is so these are the these are some so now these are some characteristics of red algae so first is occurrence or habitats so mostly they are present in marine marine water okay next is their pigments so they have the predominant pigments that is the phycoerythrin and phycocyanin and pyrenoids they also have pyrenoids that are the proteinaceous compound that present uh, outside of the chloroplast okay and their reserve food materials is floridian starch cell wall is and the outer part of the cell wall is made up of pec pectic and the inner part is made up of cellulose and the structure is multicellular they are multicellular and flagella they don't have any flagella and reproduction they can reproduce by sexually and oogamous type okay so next so these are the these are some uh, photos of red algae which are found in fresh water and also in marine water okay so now let's discuss about the another phyla that is the phyophyta phyophyta or brown algae so these are some characteristics of them so they are also present mostly in marine water marine water and their pigments the predominant pigments is phycoxanthin and pyrenoids the stock pyrenoids present outside the chloroplast envelope and their re reserve food material is laminarin okay and the cell wall is cellulose their cell wall is made up of cellulose alginic acid and uh, fusinic acid okay and the structure is they are they are microscopic to branched they are they can be uh, microscopic structure and also they can be present in branched structure or filamentous macroscopic and also they are they can be present as parenchymatous okay so the structure and they have flagella the flagella uh, must be mostly juice spore flagellated flagella unequal and one is tensile type so different types of flagella and the different types of structure we have already discussed in our uh, different videos okay so you can see this there and the reproduction the sexual reproduction that is the isogamous anisogamous and oogamous types okay next is phyophyta that are the so this is the phyophyta and brown algae so these are some photos of 
pheophyte or brown algae so this is the fuca species okay so next is the chlorophyta or green algae so their characteristics are so they are mostly present in aquatic environment mostly fresh water and few are in marine water so as well as, as well as they are also present in terrestrial that means in soil they also present soil and they mostly present in aquatic environment okay and the pigments are the predominant pigments are chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b and pyrenoid is present and reserve food material is starch okay and cell wall is made up of cellulose and their structure is unicellular motile to multicellular they can be present in unicellular form or they are also present in multicellular form or heterocytous okay and flagella is present in them and they and they can reproduce by vegetatively asexually or sexual reproduction can be seen for reproduction different types of reproduction in algae you can see our different video about the reproduction of algae okay so now so these are the different types of unicellular and multicellular green algae okay so the photos and next is the xanthophyta that are the yellow green algae yellow green algae they their occurrence or their habitats are mostly fresh water and few in marine water their mostly uh, pigments are chlorophyll a e and beta carotene and xanthophyll xanthophyll is the most predominant uh, pigment of them and pyrenoid is absent in them and uh, reserve food material is oil or fat and cell wall is made up of rich in pectic compounds and composed of two equal pieces overlapping at the edge and flagella unequal and the structure is unicellular motile to simple filamentous they can be present as a unicellular form or they can be filamentous form filament like form they can be present in both structure okay and their flagella is present and their reproduction is vegetative type asexual type and sexual type different types of reproduction they can be performed and these are the valsaria valsaria structure of yellow green algae or xanthophyta and next is chrysophyta or orange algae so orange algae mostly present in fresh water and few in marine water and their pigments predominant pigments is that is a phycos uh, phycochrysin or chlorophyll a and reserve food material is leucosin their reserve the mostly they have the reserve food that is the leucosin one type of polysaccharide okay and the cell wall their cell wall is made up of uh, cilia or uh, cellulose cilia uh, sorry cilia or calcified that means they have the cili uh, silica and calcium but they don't have cellulose in their cell wall okay so this is the characteristic features of them and the structure is unicellular motile to branched filamentous they can can be for, form their unicellular form or they can be present in unicellular form or can be present in branched form okay and the flagella they have flagella they have present flagella is present and two in number they have two flagella and equal they are equal or maybe unequal okay and reproduction vegetative and sexual reproduction can be seen in them so these are the photos of orange algae or chrysophyta next is bacillariophyta or diatoms so bacillary phyta their occurrence are they are present present in everywhere that means they are co they are cosmopolitan in nature that means they found in everywhere in fresh water marine water soil terrestrial in ev everywhere they can be present and uh, pigments their um, pigments are fucoxanthin is the most predominant pigments and also they have beta carotene chlorophyll c okay and pyrenoid is also present our outside of the chloroplast and reserve food material is fats and volutin these are the reserve material or stored material inside their cell and the cell wall is composed of silica 
as well as pectic substances okay and the structure is unicellular or colonial they can be they can form unicellular form they can present in unicellular form or they may um, uh, made a colony okay colonial form they can be present in colonial form and the flagella is single they have a single flagella and the reproduction is cell division by fission and or oxospore formation okay and deposit of these cell shells from uh, centuries of growth are called the diatom diatomite or diatomous earth that means their cell or the cell wall component that is the silica or pectic substances the cell wall components which deposited after deposition of centuries of growth are called the diatomite or diatomous art which, which has a economic value okay so these are the photos of diatoms or bacillaria phyta okay so these are the all about the different classes of algae okay so these are all about the classification of algae okay thank you for watching this video